Texas. Back to you. All right, Randy Shandon, Bill, and our team of panelists, thank you very much for that. That wraps up Front 4 News at night, but our primetime coverage continues at the top of the hour. Ken Moore and Ken Wayne are here with Front 4 News at 10. Vicki and Grant, thank you so much. We're going to continue our election coverage. Yeah, we're going to take a break, and when we come back, we're going to have all the latest results, so don't go away. evidence of a violent struggle. A secret plan to solve the murder of this family man. We were going to set a trap for three people. But would it work? These people might literally get away with murder. A deep vibe. Tonight at 11, following Cron 4 News. When news breaks, fire threatens an underground gas pipeline. Cron 4 has you covered before you head out the door. Daria Folsom, James Fletcher, Robin Winston, John Trable. The Cron 4 Morning News, weekdays from 4 to 10. Chicago PD, tonight at 11 on Cron 4. When big stories from the nation's capital impact the Bay Area, we have you covered. I'm Alexandra Limon, Cron 4's Washington, D.C. correspondent. Covering the stories that affect your life, Cron 4 News, now with three hours in prime time. Willie Brown, Cron 4 anchor Pam Moore reveals a side rarely seen. It took me a while to get over the absence of true power of this San Francisco icon. My father has the biggest heart in the world. A three-part series, Wednesday on Cron 4 News at 10. Cron 4 News, your local election headquarters. And thank you for joining us. I'm Pam Moore. And I'm Ken Wayne. We continue our live coverage of the election results on this election night. And we want to take a look at the latest numbers in the race for governor. As you know, Gavin Newsom is the projected winner. And Cron Force J.R. Stone is at Gavin Newsom's headquarters in Los Angeles tonight. J.R., bring us up to date. Well, Pam, I can tell you the energy building here in downtown Los Angeles, anticipation from so many people to hear Gavin Newsom. And as I speak, I want to go off in the distance. You can see this is the first speaker tonight.